Da -da -da, we have a new device. Oh, and I almost dropped it. This is the Wheelock HNR, the Exceder Series horn only red model. So we're just gonna do a quick video on this because I wanted to kind of do a little experiment here. Uh, some of you may know, Wheelock uh, horn strobes, generally when you put them up on a system, uh, you can't do continuous coding um, when a sync signal is sent. However, as you may know from this clip, In my area require us to have uh, continuous horn strobes um, but also need them to be synced so I was curious if if the newer horns uh, will do temporal when a sync code is sent or if these know to just ignore them personally if I were to take a guess I think this is gonna start doing temporal even though we've got it set so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook it up to just straight power and we're going to get a, um, you know, an alarm from that um, and show that it's in continuous. And then we're going to be hooking it up to, um, we're going to put a sync signal to it and do the same thing all over again. Okay, we've got the Wheelock NH up here. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not the NH. <laughs> Wheelock HNR up here. I'm used to using the NH as it's my only other electronic uh, horn model from Wheelock. Um, well, similar to this, and that's kind of the experiment I want to run. You see, in my dorm building, uh, we've got these Wheelock NHs, the chart here, Wheelock NH doing continuous, but the strobes are synced. So what I want to see is if we put a sync signal to this, can we do these on continuous or not? So let's just start with continuous. Painful. That's low volume, believe it or not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and reset. That was horribly sounding, but that's the exact result that I'm going for. We're going to go ahead and reset. I'm going to put this into um, Wheelock Sync as if we had strobes up, and I'm going to see if that does continuous now because it's a horn only or if it would begin to do temporal. That'll be a, a very interesting experiment to do here. Okay, so if I go ahead and read uh, status here, whoops. We'll see NAC1, we've got set to sync strobe. We okay, have it set to steady, because that's what we want it to do. And we lock sync. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this. It might still be initializing. We'll give it a, a quick second. That's what I was afraid of. Alrighty. Let's use the silent switch I put up. I didn't show this yet. I put up a silent switch where I keep my keys when I'm not here and I'm off at school. So in the event something goes wrong, my dad could always run down and uh, just flip that to quiet things down. So yeah, honestly guys, that's kind of the result I was expecting. This is literally the same board inside there. You can actually see. Um, geez. Um... If I pull this down, you'll see there's still the section on the board for the candela setting. It's just the switch isn't there um, because the light's not there. So it's the same board on the inside. I figured this would do the same thing. Um, yeah, I know. There you go. That's it, getting its uh, synchronization there. We'll go ahead and reset. And guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. The test is uh, so far inconclusive. Um, 
I actually haven't tested yet to see if we lock NHs, the older ones, um, sync and, and do temporal like this. Um, I think it's unfortunate because there's this one very select city that I go to school in that requires uh, continuous horns for no reason. So um, I, uh, I think it's something that would be uh, nice if they gave us that option the same way System Sensor does. System Sensor has nice little dials on the back to um, set it to continuous regardless. So I've tried, had no success. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.